Oh, man, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> My name is Lucy the Comedian. Oh, first, I would like to say shout out to Kim, the comedian there. Yeah. All right? Woo! Oh, business. All right, y'all. You know, shout out to everybody else. It's, I'm glad to finally be doing a show in my city with, with niggas, you know what I mean, my people. <laughs> they all know I be on the road and I be in Atlanta and I always seem to get caught off some like, you know, white clothes and shit. <laughs> and all, uh, I think somewhere along the line they forgot that I was a nigga. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, I'm glad to be back here. Shout out to Delta, you know what I mean, Delta, goddamn nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all, uh, I am from Columbus, you got to know. I am definitely from Columbus. I am from Columbus and I'm so Columbus, right? I still don't need to call so okay, so okay. I thought that shit spit. You know what I'm saying? That's how Columbus I am, right? Those new apartments, I don't even know the names of them. They still be buying it. Make it good to me. Who are you going to buy the shop off my street, nigga? Still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People out there, I'm talking about the body shop. The body shop. I knew somebody was going to agree with me now. Right? I am definitely from here, but look, I still don't know shit about my city. I don't know it. So, mother be coming to me like, hey, man, uh, you know, we're so, uh, let's go out and eat on exit six or exit seven. Great restaurants out there. Look, I'm like, what do you mean? What exit is this? Make the road? Okay, just say make the road, but I don't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the deal. The McDonald's. Look at this. I'm from exit four. That's the only exit I know. That's good Mr. Road. I got a GPS. Like, if you need me to get you somewhere, don't ask me no streets. Give me land on But tell me, like, hey, I'm down here on Mr. Mr. Road. I'm off the street, off Mr. Road. Nigga, what street? Oh, uh, the street right there, you better tell me what it's about. Is it about McDonald's? Yeah, make that right right about McDonald's. Say that because I don't know streets. I'm from Forest Park, and I don't know none of the streets down there, and I grew up there. Somebody tell me you can build a play field. I call my little brother, like, what the fuck is play field? Bro, go from my mouth, take two rights to the little, then go to Ray Ray House. Well, why go from there to say it the first time? Get me straight to the But, uh, being from the love, man, I, I love it. The one thing about being from Columbus is, Six degrees of separation. Some of y'all probably have never seen me a day in y'all life, but I bet we got somebody to come. We school with somebody, I bought drugs with somebody. I know we got somebody in come here. I bet you, I think I owe you money. What's his name? Don't even say it. I know him too. He probably owe me money too. No, I <laughs> it's Columbus. We all got the same people in come. <laughs> but, like I said, man, I like to start my shows off with something called God is Good. And I say that because God is good. Y'all need to be proud of that. Oh. Like, yeah, I'm but I learned something along the way. I go to church. If y'all been to church before, y'all know when people do their testimonies, they say God is good. Everything is instantly wiped clean after that. I learned that. Took that to stand up because I know I say some fucked up shit up here. But if I say God is good, I should be forgiven. Nobody should question me when I get outside here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So God is good, right? So, man, uh, I'm going to give y'all a little insight on me. Because I'm not one of those comedians that have punchlines and shit all the time. I do, but not tonight. It's such a good atmosphere. I ain't got no punchlines for y'all tonight. So I'm just telling y'all a few stories about myself, all right? Go ahead. First, the first thing I want y'all to know is I'm married. Yeah, I know it's calm down. I know it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I'm married and I got five kids. Oh, see, there you go. I know everybody always say, oh, five. Everybody give me that look. Like, you got five? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. And I know all their names because people feel like I don't know their names. I know all of their names. But if you try to get a smart ass question with me and ask me their ages, I'm going to cut you out. <laughs> ages and birthdays. Do y'all know how to figure out my kids' ages? Go ahead and get in trouble. I bring them in the room like, how old is you? You nine? Nine years old? You don't act like that. I do it all the time. That's how I just figure it out because I don't know their ages at all. My daughter ain't look like you acting up again. How old is you? Twelve. That's why you don't act like that when you 12. Damn it. You goddamn put me on the spot. I don't know y'all. Uh, yeah, your ages. I've been married 13 years Sunday. Oh, Sorry, man. I didn't say love. She don't stop this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But being married for so long, you kind of know your spouse. Or they act like they know you. <laughs> My wife comes home, gets me at work, off of work or something. She's like, what you been in the house doing? Playing the game, probably smoking. Watching porn on the internet. Well, first of all, motherfucker, you're right. But I don't like you judging me like that. <laughs> you supposed to be my wife. Why are you judging me? You know what I mean? We don't play like that. We don't play like that. But when you've been married for so long, the anger can get at you sometimes. You know, how many couples we got here? I said, I know y'all couples. Can I get them all couples down? I dare y'all know the 
happy. Y'all clap for me when I'm in marriage. Y'all ask, 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 y'all ask,
<laughs> but thank y'all for the people that did laugh, because some of y'all get my shit, some of y'all like, I don't need this shit. But I don't give a fuck, I'm still gonna goddamn you my time up here. Fuck y'all mean. <laughs> but uh, I know, wait, 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 before I get into the part, if y'all got any goddamn phones, anything, I know you recorded, thank you. Everybody else, y'all need to make sure y'all follow me right now on anything. If y'all know what that means. Who's the comedian on everything? That's the best way of putting that shit. Yeah. Right? If you got a smartphone, follow me. Follow me and follow me. And then I just go tell y'all speaking of goddamn smartphone. Three things I learned in life. Survival modes. If y'all don't know what that means, I'm gonna tell you now. How many of y'all do got a smartphone? How many people in your smartphones have a charger handy? How many of y'all can find a plug right now if your goddamn phone going out? <laughs> Survival mode. In Atlanta doing the show the other day, my little brother was with me. I'm going in the line, I'm like, okay, I'm next up. I got four people in front of me. I'm looking for my little brother. Like, where the fuck is my little brother here? He came in with me. My little brother, you know, I get three people in front of me. My little brother walks up to me, he's like, look, bro, I know you're about to go, but I need you to do me a favor. I'm like, what you need me to do? See, when you get on stage, I pull up my phone up right there in the back. So when you're gonna talk to everybody, could you just look, make sure I don't steal my phone? Because I want to go watch you. I'm like, bro, you want me to get on stage, watch your phone, and try to tell jokes? See, I don't see the problem, bro, I'm with you. <laughs> So I had to go say, like, hey, motherfucker, don't y'all touch my little brother's phone back in the goddamn mess. <laughs> All right? The second type of people with the survival with your smartphone is, have you ever seen a motherfucker drop their phone? Guess not. <laughs> All right, uh, well, you ever seen anybody have a phone in their hand and they're about to drop it? They make some type of spectacular kitsch. I seen a nigga with a drink in his hand, a blank and a baby, caught his phone with his feet, that I had to stand up and applaud him. I wrote 10 on the paper and held it up, cause that's what he deserved. If it was the Olympics, he got a goddamn 10. <laughs> and the last, but not least, is the one everybody knows about. The one motherfucker that's real secure in their phone. You ever ask somebody that you use their phone? And they be like, hey, what the don't be is? Like, you got not to die. I've been down since I've been down since you What are you talking about? Like, let me use one. I get it though, I get it, because when somebody's looking at your pictures and stuff, they always go to swiping. Figure, I figure out a trick for that. I take the pic, put it in every other picture. So if you swipe, <laughs> guess what you're gonna find in the next picture? My dick, I bet you won't swipe no more. <laughs> <laughs> bet you won't swipe no goddamn more. <laughs> Again, I like to say, look, I'm from Columbus and I've been around, and it's nothing like being from Columbus. It's nothing like being a Southern person from Georgia, from all this stuff. Y'all know what I mean, y'all been around, y'all have seen stuff. But when I started going around, I realized how fucking country I was from being from Columbus in general. Prime example, let y'all a question. Y'all know what a rag is? <laughs> What's a rag? You know what a rag is? Yeah. You know what a rag is? <laughs> Nobody knows what a rag is. <laughs> Bam, what? Look, so I'm at a hotel, right? I'm at a hotel, I go down to the goddamn thing, I'm asking the lady, look, ma'am, um, excuse me, ma'am, I need a rag. <laughs> and she's like, excuse me, sir? So I'm like, oh, I guess I'm, I'm saying it improperly. Um, excuse me, ma'am, do you have a, a rag that I may use? <laughs> so she gets real smart with me again. She's looking like, look, come here. She's calling the manager over. So now I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all don't understand what the fuck I'm saying yet, yeah. right? So they go over there like, sir, what are you saying? I said, excuse me, may I have a rag to bathe with? <laughs> he said, oh, watch my oh, motherfucker. You know what I was saying the whole goddamn time. Why are you playing with me? Right? <laughs> Being from Columbus again, that's one thing I bet y'all made me realize we real southern about until it hits you right in the face. Right? I'm at the McDonald's, the one that about Columbus Tech. I don't know what street it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm out there and then uh, a man pulls up to me, he's like, excuse me, sir, could you tell me how to get to Jordan Vacational School? I'm like, motherfucker, you in the wrong goddamn city. You must be talking about the Phoenix City somewhere. He's like, no, sir, I'm talking about right here. So I look down, I'm like, nigga, you dumb. Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they look at me like, what? Dirty. Dumb, dirty. You know how to get there, sir? Yeah, motherfucker, just go straight down. You're going to run right there to like this barbecue place. You're going to take the left and then take another left at the blank light. You'll get there. <laughs> Don't know no streets, motherfucker. Guard them. Learn them. All right. I'll figure it out. Y'all got down. Y'all have been great, though. I'm not just talking shit. Talk to <laughs> so, motherfucking great. Like I said, I'm so fucking happy to be back in my city doing some goddamn shows. Shout out to Kim, shout out to Miss Shout out to Miss Hey. That's it. Shout out to my boy. Where'd you go? Down here. No, that ain't him. Crazy right here. Shout out to y'all, because number one, you came up here and you freestyled. And I don't know people, if y'all have never been on the mic in front of people that you don't know, this shit is real weird. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, <laughs> weird as hell. You gotta try to make sure you keep people going. So uh, shout out to you. Shout out to Bro right there for doing his his thug dizzle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. first time performing at his big. Bro, that was your mom? Yeah. She yeah. she she said, hey. You bet I boo my goddamn son. <laughs> I wasn't gonna boo him. I wasn't gonna boo him anyway. But man, with that said, man, y'all people have been great. I am Zeus the Media Batch One Podcast every Sunday at 420, man. Y'all have a great night. And again, fucking Friday.